So IDE mostly got replaced and switched over to SATA in 2007. And today I'm going to try to run Windows 10 on a 40GB IDE hard drive from 2001 to 2002. Why? So the hard drive I'm going to be using is a Maxter, Diamond Max Plus. <laughs> yeah, that's a very large name, but there's more. It also is a D740X and 7200 RPM. So it's a pretty fast hard drive from 2002 or 2001. So in Crystal Disk Info, it says the drive is caution, whatever that means. And also is showing red for the temperature when it's 50-ish degrees Celsius, which I don't think that's that hot for a hard drive, I don't know. To get a base benchmark of how fast the computer can boot Windows, it takes 40 seconds to boot Windows from my 128GB inland SSD. Now let's try to beat that with the IDE hard drive. If that doesn't do it, lowering the RAM amount totally will do it, like sticking 1GB in there, that's gotta beat that time, right? It has 4GB right now, so maybe. So let me get you a base rundown of the specs of the computer, it has a Quadro 600 graphics card, it has the Phenom 9150E, and also 4GB of DDR2 dual channel. And to install Windows 10, we're running in luxury today, we're using a USB 2.0 USB. I didn't have to say USB twice there, did I? Yes, I know it's not USB 3.0, but I normally use the DVD, so this is an upgrade. So to install Windows 10 took about 40 minutes, which is not that bad, but it can take down to around 15 minutes if you're using an SSD and also USB 3.0, but that's fine. So 40 minutes to install Windows 10, that's a one-time thing. But then what about installing updates? Because installing updates on Windows 10 is pretty common and took two hours. I don't know how it's going to take long in the I don't know how long it's going to take in the future, but at least the installing updates for the fresh install of Windows 10 took about two hours, which is not great, but hey, you know, it got it done. And just for general usage, the computer was running pretty decently, going through Windows settings, going onto Google and using a few tabs, it worked just fine. Once you got around 10, 15 tabs open, and also made it so Google cannot disable tabs or put tabs asleep. And then it started struggling and the hard drive was pinned at 100% because it ran out of RAM. So it was using the hard drive as RAM, or as a page file, basically. But for light usage, just like checking your email and whatnot, it did a pretty decent job at That was hard to say. But for light stuff, it was fine. Also, at times, the RAM usage would hit 100% and then stuff would become unresponsive and then it would have to sit there and chew on the RAM to get it less used so you can open more stuff up by tossing stuff into the page file. Now, there's also another problem. Once all the updates and everything were installed, there was only around 4GB of space left on the hard drive. So, it had 4GB of RAM and 4GB of page file, basically. So, once you pass 8GB, then you are probably in some trouble. Not including the whole, you probably can't really install much on here because you're out of room right off the bat. That's fine. And the IDE hard drive took 1 minute and 53 seconds to boot Windows 10 64-bit, which is actually not that slow. That actually beats the hard drive that I'm editing this video on, which is a 3TB Western Digital hard drive, blue. And this Western Digital takes 4 minutes to boot Windows, versus this 20 year old hard drive taking a minute 53. But since that was actually quite fast, I decided let's make it faster! How? By removing one of the sticks of RAMs. RAMs? Yeah. So, one of the RAMs sticks. <laughs> I removed one of them, and now it's down to single channel DDR2 2GB, and it took 2 minutes and 25 seconds to boot into Windows, so from a minute 53 to 2 minutes 25, that is a slight increase in time, but it still does work, and this is actually the minimum requirement of RAM for Windows 10 64-bit. The 32-bit version of Windows 10 only requires 1GB, so we are meeting the minimum requirements for the 64-bit version which we run, and I can definitely tell it is definitely struggling more than it did with 4GB of RAM. With the 2GB of RAM, it was basically always in the page file. When I say always, I mean the hard drive didn't leave 100% usage when I had more than a few Google Chrome tabs open. To be fair, Google Chrome uses a lot of RAM. So does every web browser that I've ever used. 
but still though, uh, yeah, hard drive is not happy here. So let's try one gigabyte of RAM, that should make it even faster. Nope. Booting Windows 10 with 1GB single channel DDR2 only took 6 minutes and 8 seconds. Just one second too slow, that's fine though, but yeah, 6 minutes, 8 seconds. That's a lot of time to boot Windows, but keep in mind it's only 1GB of RAM. Somehow it even works, which is a miracle probably, but yeah, no, I don't recommend it at all. On the desktop, it like sitting at 100% hard drive usage. Web browsing, no, no, don't even bother. Web browsing doesn't exactly work. <laughs> um, maybe you could squeeze in some solitaire, maybe, if you don't mind waiting 20 minutes for the load. Oh, I heard you wanted to play Roblox because it's all easy to run game. Too bad, you have one gigabyte of RAM, it just gives you errors. <laughs> Just installing Roblox took a long time. Roblox took 50, 5 zero minutes to install, which normally that wouldn't take longer than a minute. So, yeah, it took 49 minutes longer than it should have to install Roblox. And you might be thinking, oh, well, if I'm going to be waiting that long for Roblox to load, maybe my prize will be amazing, and it will run absolutely amazing. No. Nope, it just gave you an error. Yep, that's it. Just an error message. I also have a 512 megabyte stick of DDR2, and I tried that, and it didn't work, sadly. It's not even working in the BIOS. I think the stick is just dead, so that's a slight disappointment. Or is it? It might be extremely fast. And just to see what happened, I stuck the inland SSD back in to see if the computer would be any faster with the SSD. And it was, to a point, though the problem is even the SSD couldn't keep up. It was still having pages go unresponsive constantly with 1GB of RAM and the SSD. Plus it's wearing out the SSD quite fast as well because it's constantly reading at super fast speeds like 50 megabits per second and writing as well at uh, those speeds as well. So it's just constantly busy wearing itself out. So that's not going to be good long term. So Roblox actually launched and I actually got into a game of Roblox Arsenal. Barely, of course, it didn't really do anything. The game didn't even really load in the background that much and I got timed out after about 30 minutes. But hey, it loaded slightly. <laughs> Do I recommend you use Windows with one gigabyte of RAM with an IDE hard drive? Of course. Not.